hey guys and welcome to my channel in this tutorial I will show you how you can make the deep blue cardigan I'm using Katia basic uh, merino which is an DK weight yarn the recommended needle will is uh, 3.5 millimeter and uh, 4 millimeter and we will use a 4 millimeter crochet hook or G size and we will work on the front panels and because uh, we will use the intarsia crochet technique to make the color work you'll need a different ball of or skein of yarn for each color of section so I will be using uh, three dark blue and two gray blue we will start to chain 44 stitches in dark blue this will be the main color of the uh, cardigan this cardigan that I'm working right now is the size small the one that I'm uh, wearing it and it has uh, uh, approximate 110 centimeter uh, bust circumference so it's pretty oversized so in case you want a smaller size or a closer fit you can find on my website the pattern of um, of this cardigan in multiple sizes and also some indication on how to adjust it now that we have 44 stitches we will chain two and in the third stitch start and make one half double crochet the chain two at the beginning doesn't count as the first half double crochet so you will have to chain two at uh, every end of the row but without counting um, it as a stitch now we will start working 11 half double crochet but the last half double crochet we want to finish it because we will change the color and every time we will change the color we will have to finish the last stitch in the current color with the next color uh, that has to be used so now I am with three loops on my hook and I'm getting the um, second color this gray blue and I will finish the last stitch with this color and now I will need to make only one stitch in this color this will be the corner of the diamond of the first uh, diamond motif so because I have only one stitch and then I have to change again the color I will just finish the stitch with the second color which is the dark blue and I will grab a second skein of yarn so basically the uh, um, this front panel has uh, two gr gray blue uh, diamonds which are the lighter ones and this is the uh, basically the number of stitches that gives us the total number of stitches that we need for one front panel so the diagonal of one diamond has 21 stitches because I have two I will have 42 stitches plus one stitch at the beginning and at the end of the row which will be in the dark blue color now let's get back to our front panel after changing the color to dark blue again you will have to work 20 half double crochet in dark blue and changing the color into the 20 in the 20 stitch So in case you want to just adjust the uh, width of the cardigan, you can just um, make the, the diamond smaller in diagonal. But this will give you also a shorter length. So you have to play a bit with the number of rows and stitches in case you want to adjust something. Now I just um, have to change the color again. So I'm... Um, in the last stitch working the last stitch here in dark blue so I will change again the color into gray blue and I'm using another skein of yarn 
making one half double crochet in the stitch I don't, don't know why it's blurry like this I hope you can see something because the camera is focusing in other place than <laughs> on my hook okay so now I'm finishing this uh, stitch with uh, dark blue again and because we are working the uh, right side row all the strands of yarn so the other colors of yarn excepting the one you are working on right now are kept in the back of our work so on the wrong side but you don't have to carry on the yarn uh, along because we are working with m uh, multiple skeins of yarn of, of course that this pattern can be followed also in tapestry crochet if you want so just work with the two um, skein of yarn the two colors one of each color and of course carrying the other color yarn uh, under the stitches so this might be an option if you don't like uh, to work with uh, multiple strands of yarn but I recommend intarsia because the drape of the uh, cardigan will be the same as worked in one single color and with uh, tapestry crochet of course that the um, fabric will be thicker so now we are turning our row and this is a wrong side row and what we will basically do this time we will just increase the number of stitches in uh, gray blue so in the lighter color and decrease the number of stitches in dark blue so we started with 11 stitches at the beginning so now we will have to work 9 and change the color into the ninth stitch so for the lighter diamond with each row we will have we started with one stitch and then we will have three five seven and so on until we will get to 21 stitches which is the diagonal the number of stitches for the diagonal of the diamond and then we will start to decrease to do 19 17 15 and so on so now I finished the I, I'm <laughs> I'm about to finish the last uh, stitch in dark blue and because I'm working on the wrong side I'm putting the strand, the other color that I'm not using anymore in front of my work so al always the um, strands of yarn are staying on the wrong side of your work I hope it makes sense and this is very important especially when we will work the second panel because we will do uh, something with the first row just to be able to follow the same pattern as, as this one so now I will change to dark blue after finishing the three stitches into the gray blue color and now instead of 20 we will have to work 18 stitches in the dark blue and then we will um, change the color again to gray blue and work three stitches okay I am into the last stitch here and let's just finish this one with uh, gray blue color always when changing the yarn you saw me that I'm just uh, moving the skein from my left to the right this can be a method to avoid uh, uh, tangling I think is the term uh, the strands of yarn so this might be an idea that uh, you can use it or another idea is to put the um, balls of yarn in a zipper bag this might help uh, my help also so maybe you'll find a way to avoid this but of course this can get tangled is not a problem everybody face this when <laughs> it's working with more strands of yarn so you don't have to worry about you're not the only one and after making the three half double crochet into gray blue color we will finish the row with nine half double crochet into the last stitches okay 
Of course that uh, the pattern that is available on my website this time is a bit uh, different. I'm not uh, uh, r I didn't row the pattern row by row this time because it was too long but in the PDF version which is not uh, you don't have to pay that uh, so much money on it uh, you will find a row by row instruction for each size up to 3 uh, XL and uh, also a chart for this front panel which is the uh, most complicated part of this cardigan. Now on the next row we will start working the same only that this time we will have five stitches in the gray blue color so we will start with one half double crochet into the first eight stitches and then uh, we will change with a stitch before the first gray blue color one so here now I'm working a right side row so the strands of yarn are kept in the back on the wrong side and now we will work five half double crochet in this gray blue color now we will continue with 16 uh, half double crochet into the dark blue color so every time the section, the dark blue um, section at the beginning and at the end of the row decrease with one stitch with each row and the one in the middle decrease with two stitches and uh, diamonds, the grey blue, the lighter one uh, diamond are increasing also with two stitches with each row and um, so now we will have 16 stitches and with one stitch before we will finish this section and we will change to grey blue I know that it's not a good idea to use a darker one, a dark yarn in video tutorials but these were the color that I had in my stash for uh, something and I found them that are pretty good to use them in this uh, cardigan because it has a classic look like a college uh, uniform or something okay now I'm working five half double crochet with gray blue color and we will finish the row with eight um, half double crochet into the last stitches sorry for that so let's finish this row and I think that after this row I will have to let you work alone until we will get to the maximum number of stitches for the um, for the diamond because otherwise this tutorial will take too long so all you will have to do is to increase the number of stitches for the gray blue diamond so for the uh, but not increasing like working uh, just making one stitch at the left and one stitch at the right from the dark blue color will be worked in this light blue color or gray blue color and you'll have to work like so until you will have 21 stitches or maybe 
this we will meet uh, at 19 stitches so I just have 19 stitches I found a mistake into this sample that I did because uh, I just did it twice the first part of the uh, front panel just for the video tutorial purpose and I just chain with one stitch more so basically here at the beginning of uh, the row you need to have only one stitch in dark blue color and not two as I um, have so I, after the first stitch you just have to change with gray blue color and now we will work 21 stitches into this gray blue color and then at the middle because basically you can work 21 stitches then change with the other strand of uh, gray blue color or you can just go and work uh, all 42 stitches into this with the same strand of yarn because when you're turning back you can grab the other strand of yarn with no problems I'm just changing the yarns here just to keep the <laughs> the procedure until now where I changed the yarn so basically I'm working the same finishing the last stitch with the next strands of yarn which is in the same color this time and I will continue with the next 21 stitches and I will finish the row with one stitch in dark blue color So I will work these 21 stitches and then I will finish with one dark blue color stitch. So I'm working the last one, changing the color and finishing the row with one half double crochet with dark blue color. And basically from now on what we will have to do is to repeat in mirror the previous rows so basically the gray blue diamond will have now 18 oh uh, no 19 stitches so i'm starting with two half double crochet in dark blue color and then changing with gray blue color and we will work 19 stitches this time so now basically we decrease the number of stitches in gray blue color and increasing the number of stitches in dark blue color until we will complete the diamond so basically these are the same rows as the previous ones only in the mirror yes yeah, so we are not uh, repeating from row one we're just repeating from row I think one two four six eight ten so from row nine so now after finishing 19 stitches I will change to dark blue again and work two stitches in dark blue which are the same as the previous row and now change to gray blue again and work 19 stitches and then into the 19, 19th stitch we will change the color and again at this end you will have two stitches in dark blue not three as I'm having here because as I told you before this was uh, a mistake I just chained with one stitch in plus when I was doing the sample for the video but uh, from the next part we will just uh, start working on the actual sample th which is the final cardigan and the number of stitches will be correct so now I'm just chain two and we will start repeating as I said the previous row rows until we complete the diamond so we will have basically only one stitch into gr uh, gray blue color 
the same as uh, the same number of stitches as we had on the first row. So this is the first diamond that we completed and now we will do another half so basically you will have to uh, repeat from the row 2 until we complete a half of a diamond so you will have that middle row with 21 stitches for each color so this is one diamond and a half and we will start decreasing right now and pay attention that if you want to make this cardigan higher or longer you'll have to complete so instead of one diamond and a half you will need two diamonds and a half and now we will start with a decrease so I'm not doing like so like a first so I will decrease and then changing to uh, this lighter blue and now we will continue with 19 stitches, 19 half double crochet into this uh, lighter color and in the middle we will have the two stitches in dark blue and we will finish our row in the same way. We, want to decre we will decrease only on this side so the other side remains the same so with no decreases. Okay, so I finished this row. Now we will have to repeat the same. So make 17 stitches in lighter blue, 4 in darker blue. And at the end of the row, we will need to decrease again. So I'm doing the last stitch. And then into the next two, I will do a decrease. Now chain 2 decrease how I'm doing the decrease is yarn over going with the hook into the next stitch then into the next one yarn over and pull through all stitches and because we have to change the color we will yarn over with the light blue color and we will de keep decreasing in this side uh, but repeating the same diamond pattern as until now until we complete the second diamond okay now we will continue decreasing for um, half a diamond but we will have to start with two decreases because we have here one stitch in plus you see that we have two stitches then we need to make a decrease so that's why we will do two decreases so to be able to decrease with only one stitch with the next rows so now I will start with two decreases so one and two okay and now we will have 18 more stitches or if I'm counting uh, I'm not counting right you will have to uh, change the color into the last stitch into the last stitch uh, before the last stitch that you have in uh, dark blue color so the last stitch has to be in a light blue color And then we will continue with the pattern to the end of the row, continuing and now we start working on the second diamond. Now we can cut one strand of dark blue color because we have only two sections uh, in dark blue color, so we won't need the third one. I will continue this row and then uh, coming back and we will stop before having three stitches and when I'm doing the decreases now I will do one decrease and then I will finish the row with a half double crochet to have a nice edge 
at the end so basically I did only one decrease only that I'm doing it before the last stitch and here at the beginning of the row I will do the decrease after the first stitch like so and this is it we will have to continue decreasing on this side of uh, the front panel until we will complete half of the diamond we are looking on the um, lighter blue diamonds here okay so we will keep decreasing on this side repeating the pattern for the diamond to complete half of the uh, light blue diamond the last one that we have because we had two but we already decreased the stitches for one so now I have 21 stitches here so I have 21 stitches in light blue color I will do one last decrease into the last two stitches here now I cannot uh, work the uh, last half double crochet because I don't have three stitches left to make the decrease before the last stitch and now we will continue straight until we complete this last diamond so we won't decrease anymore we are just getting straight until we will have only one stitch for the last diamond in the gray color a uh, gray blue color so we will start the row again with chain 2 and I will just work two half double crochet at the beginning change with lighter blue and then work 19 stitches in lighter blue and just continue the pattern until completing the um, diamond so this is I just finished the diamond and now to finish this front panel we will just work one single row in uh, dark blue this will be the row with number 62 so pretty many rows but again I told you before decreasing start decreasing we have one diamond and a half so basically uh, if you want to get to a longer cardigan you will have to do two diamonds and a half or three diamonds and a half so in this way it will be easier to repeat the decrease pattern in the same way as in the video okay now I finished the one front panel and uh, we will have to repeat the second panel with the same pattern but uh, look here if we are doing the same pattern basically the um, other panel will face the wrong side which is pretty similar but <laughs> not too so to make it have the same face on the front panel but still repeating the same pattern we will do something here so basically I'm starting with the same number of stitches which are 44 and then when we will work the first row remember that I told you that the other strands of yarn will be always uh, on the back on the wrong side row so now we will start with the um, wrong side row basically so in if you are not working with colors you can just uh, repeat the same pattern and flip the front panels to have uh, the decreasing to be in the mirror but now because we have this color work we need to do this so um, I will work the first 
11 stitches that I have at the beginning in this dark blue color and now when I need to change the color to make this a uh, wrong side row I just need to uh, in, instead of letting the strand of yarn in, in the back I will put it in the front remember that I told you that always the strand of yarn are staying on the back or uh, on the wrong side so now because I want this first row to be a wrong side row I'm just putting the strands of yarn in front so this is the only thing that you have to do to be able to keep the same pattern as the other front panel otherwise if you are letting this row to be a right side row when you will have to start decreasing instead of making the first decrease at the beginning of the row this will be at the end of the row so this might be confusing if you're not uh, having the rhythm pattern for each panel um, uh, written for each panel so to avoid having in an even longer pattern because I uh, uh, wrote it row by row for each size up to 2x large so to avoid having a, even a longer pattern of making the uh, decrease pattern differently for, for each panel I just came up with this to make the first row a wrong side row and then we'll can repeat the same pattern with no problems so now that this was been said you will have to repeat the same pattern as the other panel so here I am when I will start decreasing and see that I have uh, I need to make the first decrease at the beginning of the row the same as I did it on the other panel so this will work don't worry you'll have to keep repeating the same pattern as the other panel and in the end you'll have two panels which are in the mirror as we needed for uh, for this cardigan so these are both uh, front panels done and now we will start working on the back panel from now on we just finish with color work so we are just working in this half double crochet which is a simple stitch because we had 44 stitches for one front panel for the back panel you will have to chain 88 stitches or the same number of stitches as both front panel um, together so I had 44 stitches for one panel so now I will chain 88 and we will work the back panel in half double crochet only and we will need to work the same number of rows as for the front panels we had 62 rows in total this if you decided to keep the same length that, as I did if not you'll have to work the same number of rows as uh, for the front panel okay so I will work 62 rows and then we will meet again to see how we will continue so now I have the back panel and front panels done next you will have to stitch the shoulders and we will start working the sleeves from the armhole uh, here so now we just count from the shoulder seam 24 stitches on each side back and front panel and we will rejoin yarn into the first marked stitch and I will just single crochet for the first row even if the sleeves are working the same pattern in a half double crochet but when I'm working the sleeves into the armhole I prefer to do a first row in single crochet because I found them um, neater 
and I'm not doing anything special here only each side row um, each uh, half double crochet side row I'm working one single crochet in it So into each side row one single crochet. Depending on your tension, if you feel like that your single crochet are not they are even too many or uh, you have less than needed, then you might adjust the number um, of single crochet that you have. After finishing this uh, single crochet row we will just flip our, our work and from now on we will start to work only in half double crochet and you can work as many rows as you want or need to complete the length of your sleeve I worked, 50, worked 52 uh, rows there is no shaping into these uh, sleeves but of course if you want to shape them you can just uh, make some decreases along and uh, when you are, uh, if you want to adjust the length, you just uh, um, have in mind that we will also have a ribbing cuff. So maybe you will want to um, have that in mind also. So now after finishing the sleeves, we will just, uh, one sleeve, we will just work the second one in the same way so we will just have to repeat the same pattern then after having the sleeves done you will have to stitch the side sides of the cardigan so you can start with the bottom up to the sleeves or reverse and then we will start working on the neckline ribbing so for the neckline ribbing we will do one row in single crochet but first let me show you how I'm stitching the sides so I'm using uh, the same um, uh, stitching as uh, in knitting so I'm doing it on the right side of our work I'll just make a knot here and then I will go into each row so each row, half double crochet row, I will consider it like a stitch and I will go from the first to the next one and now on the other side the same then going back into the stitch where the yarn was and I will do it like so until completing the stitches okay and we will go stitch by stitch until we will complete with our stitching. If you want you can play some safety pins just to keep your both uh, panels in one place and to make sure that you are your stitches are going straight and you won't end up with some more stitches on one side and less stitches on the other. Then we will uh, start working on the neckline ribbing here I just did one uh, row in single crochet using the same four millimeter stitch the proportion is the same so one stitch one side row single crochet one side row half double crochet and now I'm changing the hook size into a eye uh, size or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook because we will work the ribbing in um, uh, back loop slip stitches and because I noticed that uh, they are too smaller and the cardigan was curling I was just uh, changing the, um, the size of the hook with a bigger one 
So now we will just uh, work slip stitches into the back loop all around. If you want to keep a uh, single crochet edge then you can just work uh, with the same crochet hook. Now I'm going to start the next uh, the next row. The first stitch and the last one I'm not doing it only in the back loop but uh, through both loops to have a nice edge here. The secret with the slip stitch back loop on the ribbing is that you keep your stitches as looser as possible because this will make it easier to go in through the stitches and not having issues with that. So this is the second row. I will do one more row and then we will uh, let some arm uh, some um, so I have three rows here, but it, depending on how thick you want this edge to be, you can adjust the number of rows that you want. And now we're on this portion here, up to the uh, decrease, we will uh, let some buttonholes. And to do that evenly, you have to count the number of stitches that you have and uh, the number of button that you, buttons that you want to use and then to divide the total number of stitches to the number of buttons and then you will see how many stitches you will need in between. I just did only two stitches in the beginning because I want to let a buttonhole on the bottom hem ribbing and then I will place each buttonhole at seven stitches I think, seven or eight stitches and the button hole is made with chain one and skip one. Of course, depending on uh, on the size of your buttons, buttons I used uh, one centimeter diameter button, so one stitch was enough. But if you want to use bigger buttons, maybe you will need to just chain two and skip two instead. So we will continue like this and do the um, buttonholes on this side. Then continue when you get to the uh, portion when we start decreasing, then uh, you won't have to place buttonholes on that portion, on that side. So only up to here I have to place one more here and maybe I will do one more and here and then we will continue with a slip stitch in the back loop only for this row to complete this row and then three rows more so basically you will need to have after the bottom hole line to have the same number of rows as you did before to have the bottom holes uh, centered but of course <laughs> it's up to you. Now that I finished this here on this side are the bottom hole as you can see they are little visible because they are small holes and now I will change with the 4 mm crochet hook again because we will work the bottom hem ribbing and I will chain 11 or if you want a thicker ribbing you can just uh, chain more depending on how thick you want your bottom hem ribbing to be and then I will turn and starting with the second stitch we will do a slip stitch into each stitch and when we will get at the bottom of the sweater we will just connect this row with the sweater by making two slip stitches into the next two uh, 
rows that we have here from the previous from the neckline ribbing or buttonholes ribbing whatever <laughs> and the first slip stitch is to just connect the current row of the ribbing and the next slip stitch is basically the turning chain and now we will turn and work slip stitches in the back loop only to the end of the row again keep the stitches looser so you won't have difficulties in the, um, working this back loop slip stitches and in the last stitch to have a nice edge I'm just working slip stitch into both loops not only into the back loop now I will turn and again working the first stitch, the first slip stitch in through both loops and then only into the back loops until we get at the bottom of the cardigan and we will connect the rows with slip stitches into the next stitches of the bottom hem so here we are and now I'm going again into the next two stitches and turn and repeat until you complete the entire bottom of the cardigan and make sure that on the other side because I told you that on the bottom hole not line you'll have to do a uh, bottom hole also on the uh, this ribbing okay because we want a bottom on the at a button on the bottom of the sweater not to have the rib being just split if you want to uh, wear this cardigan clothes so now just have to complete repeating these rows until we have all the um, stitches complete completed and on the other side you will just have to look where you have we did three uh, rows after the bottom button hole so basically when you have four stitches left you will need to do on the that row a button hole and you can place it at middle we have 10 stitches the ribbing so basically in the fifth stitch you will just have to chain one and skip one to leave that button hole on the ribbing and then you'll have to work the cuffs in the same way as the bottom ribbing if you want the cuffs to be wider you can just work them wider and uh, I think I did uh, the cuffs with 15 uh, stitches not 10 the same as the bottom hem and because this is um, circular so the, the ribbing after finishing all the stitches of the sleeve you'll have to join the ends of the ribbing with slip stitches or you can uh, you can uh, simply stitch them together and basically after finishing all this uh, the cardigan will be done all you need to do is to so stitch the bottom wave in all the ends and basically this was it so I hope, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's not too complicated to following up. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you didn't do it before because I'm trying at least uh, two times per month to uh, upload here some interesting tutorials. Thank you and see you next time.